Step one for making your crystals, pick a salt you want and dissolve it in water. So you can use copper two sulfate, that's the blue crystals. Um, you got your sodium chloride, uh, they make cubes, your Epsom salt, uh, they'll make like these rectangles, uh, rectangular prisms. Um, you have your uh, chromium potassium uh, sulfate that those make your purple uh, octahedrals, you know, and your alum that's the um, aluminum potassium sulfate, which uh, form those clear octahedrals. Whichever salt you use, you want to um, dissolve it in water and you want to saturate the solution. The water you want to use has to be a, um, you want it free from as many contaminants as possible. So um, I like just getting water from my dehumidifier here, but uh, you can buy um, distilled water at the grocery store, which by the way, when I'm pointing these things out, you know, you can buy, I bought this Epsom salt from uh, Dollar Tree. You can buy, you know, the sodium chloride at your grocery store as well as the alum. Um, I believe I got that from Amazon, but uh, you should be able to get copper two sulfate probably from a place like Menards. Um, same is probably true for the uh, chromium potassium sulfate. That was uh, got through uh, Amazon. So you take your salt and you saturate it. Uh, so pretty much keep adding salt until it won't dissolve anymore in your purified water. Um, you can elevate the temperature of the water to help you dissolve a little bit more salt. And then you just have to allow the, um, the water to evaporate. When you start to see crystals forming, little crystals, I would suggest take some of those little crystals out and try to find a single crystal that looks nice and um, clear, uniform in shape, and so that it looks like a single crystal, not like a cluster of crystals. Take that small little crystal and make that um, what you we would call your seed crystal. So make that the one that you're going to tie your um, your fishing line around, and then you could suspend that in your solution. Uh, when you do suspend it in your solution. Um, so you'll just tie a little knot around your seed crystal and then it just sits in your solution and allow the solution to evaporate. Over time, as more and more water evaporates, the crystal will grow larger and larger. Um, usually I like to put a little lid on top and ever so often I increase the size until it's growing at such a rate that um, the crystal will continue to grow and not grow out of control. You want to grow your crystals in an area that's free of noise. And noise, I mean not just sound, I mean anything that might disturb your crystal. So you don't want light shining on it, you don't want a place that's you know vibrations you don't want sound you don't want you know dust that's falling in your crystal you want it in an isolated area uh, stable temperature and just allow the water to evaporate this takes time this can take uh, several days or weeks and you know depending on uh, a variety of factors it's all dependent on how fast your water is going to evaporate. So you can expect a larger mouth container like this to have water evaporating a lot faster than a smaller one, and that's going to evaporate faster than an even smaller container.
uh, smaller mouth container. So, um, as well as, you know, the exact temperature you do have your crystal at and whether or not you're covering up part of uh, your container or if you have it completely open. And, you know, pretty much I recommend that you want to increase it as time goes on. So when it's really small, you don't want your crystal to grow out of hand, so you have it partly covered. And if you see it looks like the crystal is not really growing too much in size then, then you add, then you open it up a little bit more. And when it looks like the crystal is slowing down in terms of its growth, you start opening it up more and more and more. Different crystals will grow at different rates. Um, that has to do with the solubility of the actual salts. So something like magnesium sulfate, I mentioned that one, the, the Epsom salt. Uh, that one grows at, you know, it, its solubility is a very, very sharp curve. So um, it's very likely that if you make a solution of magnesium sulfate and you come back to it, let's say the next day or maybe two days later, you might see tons and tons of little crystals on it. Compare that to something like maybe um, the calcium sulfate here. You're not going to see as many crystals in the same amount of time. Uh, so um, if you do get too many crystals all at once, that's perfectly fine. One, decant the solution. So just pour the liquid off into a new clean container. And keep those crystals, you know, because you can always dissolve them and, re and redo the experiment. And then try the experiment again in your new clean glass container. And take a seed crystal and suspend it in that solution.